Greetings one and all to universes! In this show we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two characters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right or wrong. Stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fight and make your predictions in the comments below. And who knows, maybe even you could be featured in the next episode. So let's meet our two fighters. We have Sora, wielder of the Keyblade, and Dante, son of Sparta. Which one of these two stylish sword fighters will come out on top? Okay, well, technically one of them has a giant key, but you get the point. This is Universes. Are you kidding me? In the first episode, I have to talk about the plot of this guy? Even with a font size of two, the entire story would fill up 20 pages. There's no way I'm doing this. Even the biggest of Kingdom Hearts fans can't explain the story in a single paragraph. So you know what? How about we shrink his bio by a lot? Okay, here we go. Boy has friends. Boy wants to explore. One friend disappears. One friend falls into darkness. Boy meets Disney characters while looking for friends. Boy saves the day. The end. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, sorry. Boy also has a giant key. There! The story's over. Now let's talk about this giant key and what it can do. Okay, okay, okay. So this giant key is actually called the Keyblade. It chose Sora to be its wielder, and it has the capabilities to destroy darkness and unlock people's hearts. With it, he can perform many special attacks. He can throw it and have it return like a boomerang. It also materializes in his hand so he can never lose it and it can never get stolen. He can even perform aerial recoveries to keep his enemies from trapping him in a combo. With the Keyblade also comes a whole ton of magic. While it can run out, Sora can easily replenish it by landing melee attacks. This gives him a virtually endless pool of magic to draw from. He has fire spells, ice spells, thunder spells, and even a spell that can heal him quite a bit. This healing is very quick and effective, so it's very easy for him to use during combat. He can surround himself in a barrier of wind to reduce damage, he can flatten his foes by controlling gravity, and he can even stop time completely for quite a bit. He has summoning abilities too, but these aren't important to his character, and they're not an important part of his moveset, so they're considered outside help. And if you read the screen at the beginning, that is not allowed. The same goes for his drive forms, which require his party members to activate. All but one, that is. One of Sora's best and most powerful forms is the Limit Form, and he can do it on his own. It gives him extremely upgraded versions of all his special abilities and attacks. And Sora himself is also quite impressive physically. He can jump higher than most humans perform many acrobatics, and he can even fly. And of course, like most RPG characters, he's absurdly powerful. He's strong enough to slice through seven buildings in a single second, then slice more buildings and use the broken pieces as platforms so he can jump up and slice even more buildings to use those as platforms too. He, uh, apparently really hates buildings. Come on, Sora, what did the buildings ever do to you? People probably still live in there. The lights are still on. Anyway, Sora has also cleared out a valley of 1,000 Heartless by himself. And he was able to defeat Xemnas, who had been strengthened by the world creating and destroying Kingdom Hearts. Ah, name drop! There's also things like him defeating Final Fantasy Sephiroth, defeating Hercules with barrels. But it's not just power this guy has. Sora is also extremely speedy. Sora and his friend Riku once deflected thousands of light speed lasers while they were trapped and surrounded in a small area, slapping all those bright little beams as if they were raindrops. Huh. Sounds familiar. But not only that, Sora has reflexes fast enough to pilot the gummy ship, which can travel to other worlds in mere minutes. Considering the worlds in Kingdom Hearts exist in different solar systems, this would make Sora massively faster than light. He's a pretty impressive kid, wouldn't you agree? And to think, he started out as a little goofball on an island. I had given in to the darkness. Riku! How am I gonna face everyone? Like this? <laughs> 
He's a half demon who hunts demons because his father was a demon and he lost his mother to demons and his brother is a half demon. Lots of demons. It's Universes featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. He loves pizza, he loves strawberry sundaes, he really sucks at gambling, but he's really, really good at pool. He's a demon killer and a lady killer with a very cocky personality. When it comes to pure style, Dante absolutely dominates with his swift moves, insane healing factors, and his wide arsenal of weapons as he runs his demon hunting business. Now how about we take a nice long look at some of those fancy weapons of his. Let's get the big one out of the way. His sword Sparta holds all the planet crushing power of his father. He has another powerful sword called Rebellion which he used to cut down Abigail. We'll get to how strong that is later on. He even has the Alistair Sword, which increases his speed. But swords aren't his only specialty. He has two guns as well, Ebony and Ivory. He has special equipment too, like Ifrit, which lets him shoot fireballs. Cerberus grants him the power of ice, and Nevin even grants him the power of lightning and bats! Gear like Gilgamesh and Beowulf increase Dante's hand-to-hand -hand combat power, and he even has a briefcase called Pandora, which can take over 600 forms. This includes a bazooka, a bowgun, or even a boomerang. But it isn't just weapons that give him all the power. Dante also has lots of special abilities and styles he can use. Quicksilver lets him slow down time by quite a bit, Doppelganger lets him create a perfect clone of himself, and Royal Guard style allows Dante to benefit from blocking attacks by building up energy or healing himself faster. Speaking of healing, Dante's got quite a handy gift for it. He gets stabbed quite a lot, but is soon fixed up in no time. He even got gutted by multiple scythes at once and didn't even care. And this healing, along with his other impressive stats, increase once he enters the Devil Trigger mode. And he gets an even bigger boost from Majin form, but that can only be used near death. So what are these impressive stats that get upgraded anyways? Well, for starters, remember that little Abigail character we mentioned when talking about Dante's Rebellion Sword? Well, as it turns out, Abigail has an ability that opens a portal the size of North America in mere seconds. Dante scales to this speed-wise, making him sub-relativistic. I bet that little raindrop feat seems pathetic in comparison now, doesn't it? As for power-wise, it really doesn't matter if Dante scales to it or not, because we know that he's well above continent level. Dante has faced all kinds of crazy and powerful demons who have the power to destroy the planet. He's also defeated his brother Virgil and has made it out of all the danger that has been thrown at him. He can be stabbed in the heart or shot in the head and still shrug it off. Heck, even big flaming meteors weren't enough to worry him. Whether they're mountain-sized foes or teeny tiny little demons, he'll slay them all. There's about nothing this half-demon can't accomplish when he has his swords, his guns, and a slice of pizza. The only thing he may need a little help with is voice acting. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Well, now that we've analyzed these two fighters, let's look at your predictions while I calculate the results. In the end, we are all satisfied. You are set free. Hello, everybody. This is that one gaming day twenty-four, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna make a prediction on. Begin Dante versus Sora or Simon versus Dante. And so let's begin with this prediction. I think Dante's gonna win because he has more weapons, more armor, he has more skill than Sora, stuff like that. I ignore the background on the side and this stuff. Well, what does Sora have? Well, he has impressive feats, but they don't compare to Dante's OP healing factor and stuff like that. It could be like a plot twist that Sora wins. But still, you know, like the video where Leopold the Brave um, made his prediction. And see you guys next time. Hey guys, it's Keen here. And today I'll be doing a very special video. It's not gonna be like a oh, vlog video. No, it's um about this new oh god the new series that this that channel called Leopold the Brave has put up. It's called Universes. And his first battle will be Dante versus Sora. Sora is from Kingdom Hearts and Dante from Devil May Cry. And well, I've ha I have a decision video. I think that Dante will win easily. 
he's got he's basic he's got more experience he's got better weapons he's got better powers he's basically just better than Sora in every way but he may have a hard time with um, Sora's light magic but I still think that Dante is going to be very hard and so that is my decision video and uh, also there's another one I saw which was Skipper from the Penguins of Madagascar this is um, Perry the Platypus yeah Perry's gonna win and that's all for today see you later goodbye and the results are in the winner is Sora! Now before we get into the actual results, let's address one certain argument that people used when rooting for Dante. Not all of them, but most of them said that Dante wins because of his healing factor. If I recall correctly, Wolverine's healing factor didn't exactly save him from losing in his death battle now, did it? As cool as it is that Dante can fix up stabs from swords almost immediately, that still doesn't change the fact that he's getting stabbed in the first place. Healing from something doesn't make you immune to it. Why would Dante even need to heal if he never took damage from those things? True, healing factors are a huge advantage in fights as it makes you hard to kill, but all one would have to do to beat out a healing factor is overpower it or outpace it, so let's see if Sora can do any of those. As we know, Sora is faster than light from piloting a ship of that speed and deflecting all those lasers. Meanwhile, Dante is sub-relativistic from beating a foe that can attack at those speeds. While that may sound impressive, you should know that sub-relativistic is only 1-5% to the speed of light, meaning Sora, who's faster than the speed of light, is 20-100 to times faster than Dante. When Dante gets stabbed, the wounds are open more than long enough for blood to be drawn, so Sora is fast enough to outpace it. Not to mention that the effectiveness of Dante's healing factor diminishes as he loses stamina. In considering Sora plowed through a valley of 1,000 Heartless, he wins out in that category as well. Now let's take a look at their strength. Dante defeats world-destroying demons, while Sora defeats Xemnas, who is powered by the world-destroying and creating Kingdom Hearts. So you'd think they're both equal at planet level, right? Well, it's a bit more complex than that. You see, the worlds in Kingdom Hearts aren't represented by planets. I don't even have to explain this one. I'll let Goofy of all characters do the honors. Watch what happens when Destiny Islands was destroyed and consumed in darkness. Whoa. That's right, the worlds in Kingdom Hearts are represented by stars, not planets, thus putting Sora at star level as he defeats world-destroying foes. This means he's far above Dante in power. He could easily hit harder than Dante could heal, and nothing suggests Dante would be able to regenerate from decapitation, which Sora could totally do. Dante does have a much wider and larger arsenal, but due to Sora's massive lead in physical stats, it's highly unlikely that Dante would get a chance to use all of them before dying. Not to mention, Sora has better and easier access with his arsenal considering they can all be done with one keyblade. Meanwhile, all of Dante's abilities are spread across different weapons. Now, Dante is ahead in one category, and that would be experience, as Dante has fought in more battles and has been fighting longer alone than Sora, who is typically seen as a team player. While that is true, Sora is more than capable in battle by himself. While he does often fight on a team, he doesn't rely on them to win. Not only that, but Dante has never faced a foe that's as far ahead of him in stats as Sora is. There's also the fact that the Keyblade's darkness-destroying nature would make his attacks even more effective against Dante. So with greater speed, strength, stamina, and an easier to access arsenal, Sora wins this fight. We're the champs! Get ready for the next battle. A deep wound that will be fatal for you heals itself in mere moments by focusing all my energy on my destroyed arm. I can explosively speed up the healing process. Good as new.